In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you the four bar counting technique, which will help guide you in knowing when to hit play on the next track that you wanna mix in. Let's dive in. All right, so let me show you what I mean by counting. Let's go on over to our track here in deck one. I'm gonna hit play and then I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one. Okay, so I just stopped playing the track on deck one, but why did I count in that weird way? Is it because my math is so bad that I can't count past four? Well, I'm not that good with numbers, but there is a really important reason why I counted that way. And I want you to listen closely. I counted that way because I was counting beats and bars. Almost all of the music you'll be DJing with is in what's known as 4-4 four, four time. That means there are 4 beats in one bar of music. Again, each bar of music will have 4 beats. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's one bar. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's another bar. And so on. Now, I was also counting in chunks of 4 bars. And that's why you heard me counting this way. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Those are four bars. That style of counting helps me mentally keep track of which bar I've reached so I can count four bars repeatedly as a song progresses. Now, the reason for this is because the big important things in a song almost always happen on the one beat. The first beat of the song, for instance, happens on the one count. So let's use what we learned here and try mixing these two tracks that we've got. I'm going to move on over near the end of this track over in deck one. This point here. There we are. The ending or outro of a song is a good place to mix out of a tune and mix into another. I'm going to explain why in the next video, so don't worry about it yet. And I know that this song has an outro coming up. Now, I'm going to disable headphone cue over on deck one, and then I'm gonna enable headphone cue on deck two so that we can hear it in our headphones. Again, headphone cue should be enabled on the deck that you're preparing to mix next. Now, I'm gonna check the track that I've got in deck two and make sure that I've got a cue point set at the very first beat of the song, and it looks like I already have one there. If yours doesn't, make sure that you set a cue point at the first beat. Okay, I also want to make sure that the tempos are matched. Currently they are, they're both at 124 BPM. If not, all you need to do is to press the sync button over on deck two. Now I'm gonna hit play on deck one while counting four bars, and then I'm going to hit play on deck two when I go back to my one count. Here goes. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four. One. Cool. Now I'm going to line up the beats using the jog wheel. There we go. When they're lined up, I'll move the crossfader from the left to the right. There we go. That's a nice smooth mix there. So what we just did now is called phrase matching because not only were the beats and bars lined up in those songs, but I also made sure that they fit together structurally as well. Don't worry, I'll make it clear what I mean in the next lesson. For now, I want you to repeat exactly what I've done here so you get a hang for counting and beats and bars. And then I want you to try mixing two other songs from your DJ library together. I'll see you in the next lesson.